Hi everyone, this is Nate with People Fit Health and Fitness, and this is Total Body Toning. Always consult with a physician before starting an exercise program. Let's start. We have three standing exercises we're going to do. The first one, you're going to want to grab a light set of weight. I would say probably five pounds or less. There's two parts to it. We're going to do some shoulder exercises. So if you have a shoulder injury, you're going to want to skip this side part, but you can do the alternating front part. So what's going to look like is we're going to go to the side, bring it down, we're going to alternate to the front, and then we're going to go back out to the side. So again, if you have a shoulder injury, just do alternating front, back and forth, skip the side part. But if you're okay to do the shoulder part, let's go out to the side. All right. Here we go. Good posture up tall, out to the side, alternating to the front, always below shoulder height. Keep the pace slow, nice and smooth up, nice and smooth down. We have 45 seconds set. We got 20 seconds to go. One more out. One more each to the front. Good. Place one of those down. This is one where you can use the light coming on like with your forearm or your hand, or if you have anything around you want to put your hand on, you can. We're going to take a forward lean. We're going to do a tricep kickback today for the back of our arm. So get a good forward lean, pull the elbow up. We're going to extend back slowly, and we're going to keep the elbow nice and still. All right, so that's this one. Let's start with the right hand. We'll go good forward lean, and here we go. Pull the elbow up. Don't swing the weight quickly. You want to do a slow pull. So oftentimes you can stop at the bottom, pull, stop at the bottom, pull. That way you know you're not going to be swinging it. Two more. All right, let's stand up all. We're going to change to the other hand. Same idea. Good forward lean. Okay, let's pull the elbow up. And here we go. Extend back slowly. Two more. Good, and we'll come on up. All right, you can place your weight down. We're going to do a wall sit next. If you don't have a good spot in a wall, you can just do a round of squats. If you can go grab a spot on a wall, back goes against the wall, feet go way out in front. We slide down. We have our ankles below our knees. We have our hips, knee height or higher. And we're pushing our weight through our heel. So I'll give you about 15 seconds to go get a spot. Again, if you don't have a good spot and you'd rather do squats, you could do squats instead. Let's get the back against the wall. Get the feet way out in front. We're going to slide down. Here we go. Push your heels through the ground. Okay? All your weight be, should be through the heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. <clears throat> All right, you're wiggling your toes. That way you know we're still through the heels. We're going to do a 40 seconds. A little long, but you can hold it. The side might start to burn. That's totally okay. Keep holding it. Keep your weight shifted in your heels. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just slide up. Let's make our way back to the front. Grab your light set of weights. 
you don't have a light set, you can still do this exercise, just do the front only part. Skip the side part, okay? So, this is our shoulder exercise. We have our side shoulder raise and our alternating front. So, we're gonna grab our weight, stand up tall, out to the side, alternating to the front. All right, here we go, joining if you have it. 45 second round, good posture. Up tall. Keep the pace slow, don't rock fast when you do them. One more, out to the side, one more each to the front. Good, all right, you can place one of those down. Let's start with the right hand with the weight. We're gonna do a tricep kick back. This is the back of the ER. I'm gonna use the stool. You can use something around you if you wanna lean on or just use your leg. So, we get the left foot, the left arm out in front. Okay, good flat back, pull the elbow up, and here we go, we're going to extend the weight back. Good, keep going. Two more. Good. All right. We'll stand up. Change the hands. Let's change the feet. We're going to take that right arm, right leg forward. Weights in the left arm. Good forward lean. Flat back. Elbow pulls up. And here we go. Extend the weight back. Nice and slow. Try not to swing the weight quickly. You're doing that slow pull. Elbow stays nice and stationary. It helps to squeeze the elbow in tight to your side. That way you know it's not moving. Two more. Good. You can place your weight down. You don't need to wait for the next one. Go grab a spot in the wall, or you're going to do squats. Squats will be your alternative. If you're not doing squats, you're going to do a wall set. That's with your back against the wall. I'm going to give you about 15 seconds before we do it, so you get in a good position. All right, so we got our backs against the wall. We're going to walk our feet way out in front. We're going to slide down. Here we go. Push your weight through your heels. You want your ankles below your knees, and you want your hips never lower than your knees. So if you can see me, your nice side view, you have ankles below knees, hips above knees, just a little bit, back against the wall, pushing into your heels. You're going to keep holding it. you got 15 seconds to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, slide up. And we'll make our way back to the front. Okay, let's grab our set of weights. We have our side shoulder alternating front shoulder raises. You got a shoulder injury, skip the side part, just do alternating front shoulder raises, okay? We're going five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, to the sides. Shoulder height only, don't go over your shoulders. Alternating to the front, again, below shoulders. Side.
Here we go. We got one more of each. Start with the side. Alternating front. Okay, we'll lose one of those. Hang on to the other one. We have our tricep kickback to the back of the arm. So, good forward knee. We've got to keep that back flat. Don't be rounded off in your back. Weight in the right hand, left arm, left foot, go forward. Go five, four, three, two, one. Elbow up, extend back. Elbow does not move. Squeeze it in tight to your side so you know that it's not moving. Keep the pace slow. Don't swing the weight, pull the weight. Two more. Last one. Okay, you're going to stand up. Change hands. Just change the feet. Same idea. Left hand with the weight. Elbow up. Here we go. Extend the weight back nice and slow. Go ahead. The more you can lean forward, the better. Just make sure you have a nice flat back. I don't want you standing up too tall. It's going to feel uncomfortable in your shoulder. you got to lean forward. Let's go three more. Two more. Last one. Good. All right. Lose the weight. Go so grab a spot on a wall. Or if you can do squats instead, you can grab any space that you got available. Wall We're on the wall. I'll give you 15 seconds to get that. Back against the wall. Get the feet way out in front. We want the back against the wall. Head against the wall. Slide down. And push all our weight through our heel. Hold it. Here we go. Keep holding it. Make sure you can wiggle your toes so you're not pushing into the toes. It gives you extra knee pressure. We don't want pressure on the knees. We want all that weight through our legs and our muscles. We're already halfway there. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Have a break. Grab a drink. Make your way down to the ground. Grab your weight and bring it with you. I'll give you a 30 to 45 second break. This one, you are going to want to have enough space that you can put your arms out to the side. If you can't put your arms out to the side, move around a little bit so you can put your arms out wide. I'm going to show you what we're going to do while you grab your drink. Okay, if you want to look up, we're going to do a two-part exercise. The first part, what we're going to do, we're going to do a chest press. That means the weights are twisted. Okay, we're going to bring the elbows to the ground. We're going to press all the way up. After that, we're going to turn the hands. We're going to let the arms come out nice and wide. For a fly, chest fly, we're going to pull to the top. We're going to turn the hands, elbows to the ground. Turn uh, wide. So we're just going to go back and forth between a chest press and a chest fly. All right, we'll go in about 10 seconds. So grab your weights, lie on your back, give yourself some bent knees. We're going five, four, three. We're going to do chest press first. So weight touch at the end. Here we go. Elbows to the ground. Press all the way up. Weight touch. Turn the hands. Weight come out nice and wide, nice and slow. Go back to the top. Weight can touch. Turn the weight. 
Elbows back down to the ground. Press all the way up. Weights will touch. Turn the hand. Weights come out wide. Slowly. All the way to the top. Touch the weight. Turn the weight. Turn it back down. Okay, hold that rhythm. We're pressing up and we're going out wide. We're going to do a minute set. Take your time so you don't lose rhythm. Okay, we're going to do one more of each. When you're done, let's bring the weights in, place them off to the side. Next move we're going to do is a back exercise and spine exercise and coordination called the bird dog. So, hands and knees, we're going to go alternating arm and leg. Bring it down. Go to the other side, arm and leg, alternating, okay? So, take your time so you have good balance. We can do about 10 seconds. We'll go hands and knees. Go to five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Try to keep your body facing the ground as much as you can. Keep your head down. Doing a 45 second set. Two more. Good. All right. Take a pause. We're going to still stay facing the ground. We're going to do a trusty go blind. Nice and safe. I think most of you have done this before. Here's the two options if you have it. You can be on the forearms and off the knees, and we hold it with a nice flat line with our body. We're not way up in the air. We're not sagging to the ground with our hips. We're in a nice straight line. That's a modified plank. Here's a, a little bit tougher one. You're going to come up on the toes and the forearm, and you're going to hold it, okay? So I'll let you pick which one you're going to do. We'll go in about five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Try to be as flat as you can. You're better off being a little higher with your hips than a little lower. You gotta protect your lower back. Keep your abs tight. Maintain a good smooth breathing pattern. Fifteen seconds. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one, coming down. All right, we're going to make our way to our backside again. If you want to bring your weights in with you. We're going about 15 seconds. You're going to lie on your back, have some bent knees. You can bring the weights right, in, right into your torso. This is going to be our chest press. So elbows to the ground, push them all the way to the air. Turn the hand, out wide with the weight. Turn the hand, down and up with the weight, okay? We'll go in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Bring the weight down, press all the way up. Turn the hand, go really wide with the arms. Back to the top, turn the hands down to the ground with the elbows. Okay, hold that rhythm. You're just gonna bring the weights in, turn them. Touch the weight, turn them.
You got 10 seconds to go. We do one more of each. Good, bring the weights in, place them off to the side. All right, you can lose the weight. Let's face towards the ground. We're gonna go hands and knees. Bird dog, you go opposite arm, opposite leg. We're gonna keep the eyes down towards the ground. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. I'll show you just one before we do it. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. All right, three, two, one. Here we go. Take your time, work on your balance. Try not to twist your body when you're doing it. Keep everything facing the ground. You got 10 seconds. Last one. Good. Take a pause. We're going to take a 15 second break. We have plants next, so you can stay facing towards the ground. Again, your options are off the knees and off the elbows, or off the toes and off the elbows. Let's get going in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. More advanced version would be off the toes. Modified version would be off the knees. Keep your core tight. Make sure you're breathing nice and smooth. Again, you're better off a little higher in the air than a little lower with your hips. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. All right, we got one more set through. Let's lie on our back again. We're going to do our combination chest exercise. We have our chest press and our chest high. We'll do one before we do it again. Hands start in the air, elbows to the ground, press up, turn the hands, come out wide with the weight. Touch the weights, turn the weights, bring them in. All right, let's get going in five seconds. Grab your weights, give yourself some bent knees. And here we go. Elbows to the ground, press all the way up, turn the weights. So what? Make sure you do this slowly. You go out too wide on the wide one, it just flies. You can hurt your shoulder, so make sure you're going nice and slow. If your arms don't want you to go all the way to the ground, you go out wide, don't force it. Just go only as far as you feel comfortable. Bring all the weight of the weights back up to the top. Ten seconds left. Do one more of each. Bring the weights in, place those off to the side. All right, we don't need the weights anymore. We're going to do a bird dog next. That's hands and knees. Opposite arm, opposite leg. We'll go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ten seconds. Last one. Good. Take a pause. We got one more to go. We have our plank. We go off the knees or off the elbows. We'll go in 10 seconds. All right, think which one are you going to do? Three, two, one. Here we go. Prop up. Hold it. Make sure you're in a nice flat line. Fifteen seconds to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All set. Come on down, nice and easy. Good class, everyone. Thank you for coming.